Every year at the SEMA show, we try and stop by and visit our friends at Royal Purple Synthetic Oil. And this year, we've got a combination of a tricked out Pontiac G8 and a super bad concept Chris Craft boat. And to give us a little more insight on the boat, uh, we've got Bob Greenberg from Chris Craft. Bob, what are we looking at here? We've got a uh, concept 20-foot uh, Lancer GT that we came out with, a uh, joint venture with General Motors. They try to put a package together behind their new uh, G8 GT. And as you look at the boat and car, you'll see a lot of similarities between the two vehicles. Um, down to the teak wood, uh, the seat upholstery, you know, the silver stripe, even down to the wheels and tires on the trailer. So we uh, spent some time together. It's been a project that's been in the works for about two years that we've been talking about. We pulled the trigger and decided to start in August of this year. And, uh, Got, got hopping pretty quick and got both projects done and got them here in time for SEMA. Well, I mean, this is an enthusiast dream. I mean, uh, I've driven a lot of the G8s, not, not anything supercharged, but that's a, just a, a killer car. And the slickness and performance and style of Chris Craft boat, you know, you want to be able to wake up one morning and walk outside and see this combination in your driveway. Well, that's the beauty of it. You know, Pontiac's put a 6.2 supercharger in their car. Uh, the guys at Merc Cruiser, which use GM blocks, they uh, supplied us a 377 Magnum uh -huh. 2010 configuration with catalyst-equipped engine. It's got Corsa side exhaust. Uh, in our initial tests out on a lake in North Carolina, uh, our top-secret test lake in North Carolina, yes. we were able to get uh, over 70 miles an hour on really? initial runs with it. So. On the water, uh, that's pretty. That's moving pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, people don't realize, you know, if they're land people, that water seems to be three times as fast. Um, well, tell me about the design of the boat. I mean, it just looks awesome. And 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 how close to a production model is this? This is again a concept boat, as I stated. We will spin off a production model, probably release it to the plant in February of this year, and start building the boats. So it's, uh, so it's it's close. We're down to the final details in engineering, and we plan to release it shortly. You know, most of the materials in the boat are, you know, just state of the art. You know, we do a very transitional looking boat. Mm -hmm. Picks up a lot of the uh, retro look of our older Chris Crafts. Mm -hmm. You know, we're a 130 year old company, so we have a, a lot of history to build on. Mm -hmm. Our dash, a lot of the components, as you look at the boat and see it, a lot of those parts come out of our history. So we we try to use use our history to leverage our our brains in a forward motion here. We also take the technology that's available. The electronics, this is equipped with uh, Mercruiser digital throttle and shift, Smartcraft instrumentation. So again, our customer, he's got all fly-by-wire technology in his boat. Um, mm -hmm. He's got a beautiful look, but it's the latest technology, right down to digital information on the dash, just like the car has. Again, our company, we're all about style. You know, we're all about luxury goods. You know, we, we aren't the cheapest boat on the marketplace. We are the most expensive production power boat in the world. But again, we attract a customer base that wants something different, something unique. They don't want to have one of 6,000 built. They want one of 300 built. What are we talking about with the flexibility of options, colors, and different things to personalize the boat? Again, this boat we did in uh, sort of a hot rod red color to match the car. Yeah, Even the easy awesome. loader trailer is done with the red accents. But again, you have the ability to add the teak on it. You know, we use a lot of real teak wood, a lot of stainless trim. Uh, you have choices of engines, different size engines you can put in, different color upholstery. This has this, you know, the ultra type leather uh, buckskin upholstery in it. Again. You know, there's a cream color. There's several versions of colors you can put in there. So, well, it's awesome. And if you're ever looking for somebody that you know can give you another opinion on how the boat reacts on a Sunday afternoon, I'll give you my card. All right. Well, I'll just I'll leave you the key to the boat here when I'm done tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Except we're on land right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> now the front half of this killer car boat combination is a tricked out Pontiac G8 GT. And Brian Shipman is here to talk to us a little bit about the car. Uh, first of all, I got to say I'm a huge fan of even the stock Pontiac G8. It's great. It's a great car. It is. It really is. It's a great. It's off the uh, global rear wheel drive platform. Brand new to GM. It's uh, about two years old. Uh, billion dollar investment in the platform. Uh, we've got the short wheelbase off of it, the long wheelbase, and then we have the new G8 sport truck that'll be coming out next year with it. So. You want to have fun towing stuff? That's got 3,500 pound towing, and we'll have packages for that coming out as well. But this car, as you talked about, tricked out supercharger in it from Magnuson. Mm. Goes from, uh, it was 361, 385 horsepower and torque yep. up to, they've got it up to 425 
390, 398, 425. That's so, fantastic. This is a 6-liter block. It's an L76 engine. Okay. And the L76 in the GT has the active fuel management, so it'll shut four cylinders off to sure. get better fuel economy. Well, and it's a nice, strong, torquey motor to begin with. It so, is. So and going the, down the road normally, it's just loafing anyway. Exactly. And there's so much you can do with a small block engine. I mean, the same LSX blocks, block will fit in here. We've got a vehicle set up with uh, 638 horsepower over to another display. So you can have all kinds of fun with this car. Well, what's so amazing about that engine platform, that architecture, uh, it breathes so well. Yep. That we're seeing engine power numbers, you know, four, five, six hundred, yeah. and the car still idles like a new smooth running car. It does, but it gives you just a little feel for that American V8. In oh, you can so definitely you hear can it, definitely it's there, it. yeah. but yeah. it's not rattling your teeth out no. and overheating and temperamental. No, it's very refined, and uh, with the stability track option or standard traction control, limited slip diff, I mean, you get all the power to the wheels. So. Now, what else uh, had to be done to this car to make it capable of towing a boat around? Because, you know, I don't think today's consumer is equating four-door sedans, especially performance cars, with pulling boats around. You did it in the 60s, but right. now you think about a truck. And it, similar to, to what happened with the trucks, well, you have to beef up the cooling. That's the main thing you do. Engine uh, oil cooler, you need an auxiliary trans cooler on it if you're going to do any towing. Standard towing capacity on the GT is 2,000 pounds. This goes uh, up a little higher. Sure. So uh, the structure is there to do it. Well, personally, I, I think this is a fantastic project. Okay. And uh, I think I see through all this. Yes. I think this is a little effort for some guys at GM to build a really kick-ass car <laughs> and a boat and go have fun with it. I uh, think that's a great idea. <laughs> that's kind of what that's I think a... happened here. And there's no lakes in Michigan ever. You want to go <laughs> well, you got Black so. Lake, but no boats in that No one. boats. No, yeah, no. Right. We, no, there's a lot. you got Lake St. Clair, the yeah. Detroit River. There's a lot of fun you can have out there. Lake Michigan. Yeah, that so, little one. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Somehow these cars keep ending up going up north somewhere. I don't know. So. <laughs> well, thanks for showing it to us. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Take care.